All right, I am back. It's been a couple of weeks. Uh, haven't been able to find much of any product where I live at. I am actually in uh, St. Louis, Missouri for travels, for business. And uh, one of the Walmarts that's a couple of miles down the road from where I'm staying had some of these uh, 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball Value Packs. Had a good bit of it left, and I imagine it's going to be the same thing uh, the stores that are by my house have plenty of 2020 tops heritage. And again, I'm, I'm not a big fan of baseball. Uh, I like college baseball. I do like this heritage design more than I did like last year's design. Um, but again, I'm just looking for a uh, product to open so I can make a video. Cause I like talking to whoever wants to listen. And then, you know, there's a good chance I could pull out some decent rookies and I'll put them in a sleeve and a top loader and put them in the box. And maybe a couple of years from now, they'll be worth a couple of bucks and I can sell them or trade them or do what I got to do with them. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was up here in Missouri on, on business and, uh, we're actually doing, uh, the company I work for, we do a lot of different work for different clients, but I was on site at a, a Walmart in Shrewsbury, Missouri. And, uh, in fact, yesterday morning, at seven o'clock, as we were uh, finishing up the night, the store reopened to the public, and I, I say there was about six, six, six people just hanging out on the little card section. So I knew what they was doing, because believe me, I checked every night I was in there. They had nothing, no sports cards this year, you know, Pokemon and everything else. And they were just hanging out, you know, and I guess that mean that let me know that the person coming to stock was on their way there. And they knew that, and they were just pretty much going to buy a mile out and, and flip them. And it is what it is. I'm not ranting or raving at it. That's that's that's, that's you making money if you're flipping tennis shoes, you're flipping baseball cards, you're cutting grass, you're working a nine to five, you 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 winning money on a poker table, whatever. You 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 making your money, you make money. That's the American dream: make money, pay your bills. Money's not the king of my nation. I I, I mean, I do pretty decent for myself, but. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been hard to find product. I've been checking out prices on uh, Dave & Adams, Card World, and, I mean, just I'm looking at this NFL stuff, like $4,000 a box. And I guess if you live in large, hopefully you live in large if you're paying that kind of money for cards. Hopefully you're not, you know, making ends meet and, and spending your, your hard-earned money on a $4,000 box of cards in hopes of getting that five thousand dollar card out of most time you're gonna come up empty handed but i uh I, I could i could i could go drop that kind of money on cars but i'm just i'm not gonna do it i've said it before that's if you're coming here for a high-end content i mean i got four packs of 2021 retail hobby i mean retail heritage baseball i mean the chances of getting anything decent out of there is slim and none like i said i'm just chasing some rookies Maybe a maybe an insert, a parallel, or whatever. I doubt there's any autographs in there. You never know. But uh, yeah, prices are outrageous. Uh, I look at David Adams. I look at StockX. I look at HotCardboard.com. Uh, I mean, I, I check just about every website. I don't really buy off of eBay. I'm, I'm old school, and I I just think everybody on eBay is out to scam you, and it's just somebody sitting somewhere just going to send you a box with cotton balls in it and no product. That's my two cents on that. Uh, I feel when you buy from like an uh, actual company that you're going to get what you pay for and then you get a better chance of a uh, customer service if you have errors with your order or something like that. But I've been looking and and like I said, the, uh, the, the optic blasters are outrageous, you know, $100 plus. The uh, uh, prism blaster boxes, it's, you know, $120, $130. Every everything basketball and football prices are crazy. I can get all the baseball I want. Like I'm I'm seeing blasters for twenty seven, which is only you know six dollars higher than you would at a uh, retail store. I'm just not that big into baseball, but I might just start buying it just to just to have something to rip, or I might just get out the hobby altogether. I don't know. I'm on the fence with it. I uh since I haven't been you know finding product, I mean my my bank account is is growing fatter and fatter each day. I mean, that's, like I said, that's good, but, uh, you know, you can't take it with you when you go. So I don't know. It's just, it's a good feeling having money in the bank, but there's no product to buy. So, and I don't really have a life outside of work and uh, 
I don't spend my money on nothing. And uh, so it is what it is. But as always, before I, I get into these four packs here, I just want to come at you real quick with the gospel. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ and that he was sent to the cross to die for our sins so that those who believe will have everlasting life. Because one thing that is certain is death. We're all going to die. It could be tomorrow. It could be 30 days from now, 20 years from now. We're all going to die. We're all going to get put in the dirt. And there ain't but one way to come out of it, and that's just believing and trusting in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Many, many years ago, God came to earth in the form of man, the form of flesh in Christ Jesus. And he sent his own, and he, and he sent his own son to die on the cross. And that's what you got to understand. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is just one. God, the Creator. God came to earth in the form of flesh, Christ Jesus. He went to the cross to die for our sins, past, present, and future. And then he rose from the grave to show us that you too will be risen from the grave, resurrected. But you got to believe. And it's more than just believing, you know. It's uh, it's practicing the good faith. It's putting your uh, your old self to death, meaning all the 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 sins, you know, the the multitude of sins that we all sin. We're all we're all sinners. Lustful desires, anger, murder, crime, stealing, robbing, taking advantage of people, you know, simple simple sins such as cursing, overeating judging gossiping and that's what you know the bible tells us if you don't kill and you don't steal and you don't have wicked lustful desires but you gossip you're guilty so nobody's nobody's perfect nobody's pure but you can be washed clean from the blood of the lamb and you just got to accept christ jesus as your lord and savior because he was he was here on earth he was sent to the cross he was he was resurrected from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky he was here and when you put your put, put your faith in Christ and you study the bible you'll see the way you're not supposed to live again i'm not judging i, I struggle too there's some things going on in my heart my thoughts that i know i got to i got to i got to eliminate I know that God forgives me, and I ask for forgiveness. And uh, we're always going to stumble. But when you, when you, and that's one thing I'm, I'm trying to get better at. Is, and I'm sitting here talking to you about it, but I'm telling you, my struggles is uh, just eliminating evil, wicked, lustful desires from my heart. I'm a man, you know. The things you see, the things you hear, it a, it a, it a tug at you, and and. It's, it's one thing to think about stuff, but when you act on it, that's when sin gets control of your life, and sin sin creates death, destruction. And that's what the devil's here for, to bring, to steal, kill, to steal and kill, and uh, take our happiness away. It gets people hooked on drugs, alcohol, pornography, all that, that, all that steals and kills your happiness. And then before you know it, you end up on a car crash on the side of the road or you get hit by a stray bullet or you get COVID and you die before you've repented from your sins. And then it's too late. It's too late. Like I said, death is coming, but there's only one way to beat it. And that's through Christ Jesus. So I encourage you to search for his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, to search for his love and to search for his wisdom daily. Separate yourself from the world. Don't get caught up in your own folly. Don't get caught up in all this foolishness out here. It's everywhere you look. You can stay sheltered from it as long as you want, but the minute you go out into the public, you see it in the way people dress, the way people act, what you hear on the radio, what you see on the TV. It's just, it pollutes your brain. It pollutes your heart. But if you suit up with the armor of God every time before you leave the house, the devil's fiery attacks will bounce off your armor. And he'll leave you alone eventually. And that's where I struggle with. I do so good and then I fall down and he hits me right in the, right in the heart with a fiery attack. And it, it beats me up inside. So if you're watching this and you're a believer, and I hope you are, say some prayers for me. 
so I can overcome this sin and be victorious. Because God has a plan for all of us. I don't yet know my plan. I think I know what my plan is, but then again, what I want is not what God wants most of the time. But he didn't send me here to earth to suffer and be depressed and be upset and be angry and to worry about stuff that's not really important, paying your bills and living a good life. If you do what you're supposed to do and you follow Christ and you spread the gospel, he'll give you everything you need. And for the most part, he does give me everything I need. I really don't do it out. But as far as my inner peace and my happiness and then my, my eternal resting place, you know, that's the main thing. Because when that, when that grim reaper comes, if you ain't ready, you're going down to the fiery pits and there ain't no coming back. Pick up your Bible. Make sure it's a good one. King James, NIV. That's about all I read. They even got Bibles out there that don't speak the truth. It is what it is. But read the, you can read the Old Testament. The Old Testament is important. But you read the New Testament. Read the Gospel. Where it talks about Christ walking the earth. Healing. And doing all the miracles that he did. You know, walking on water. Healing the blind. It goes deeper than that. But you just, you read, you know, the Gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Read the Sermon on the Mount. Then you get into James and Peter. First Peter, Second Peter, Jude, Revelations, Hebrews, Acts. It'll start telling you, you know, it'll tell you how Jesus was when he's here, and then it'll talk about how you're supposed to live and how you'll beat death. It'll tell you all the things you're not supposed to do, and it'll give you words of encouragement. And on top of reading your Bible, you need to pray. You need to pray every day. Have an intimate one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, because that's that's really really important. Because at the end of the day. If you don't have a relationship with God, that means he didn't know you and you didn't know him. And if you don't know him and he don't know you, you're not getting into the kingdom. You can go through life doing all kinds of great deeds. You can spread the gospel. You can feed the hungry. But if you don't know God yourself and haven't accepted him as your, as your Lord and Savior and have a relationship with him, all that's not going to matter. He's not going to let you in. He's not going to let you in. But a study your Bible to tell you about all that some good stuff in there it, it'll change your life I've, I've, I'm only 40 and I, I used to get angry I don't get angry anymore I used to think of deceitful ways I could get over on people I don't do that no more I'm as honest as they come now for the most part uh, but it'll change your life and again I don't not it's changing your life here on earth it's not as important as where you spend eternity but that's where you got to start at. You eliminate all the evil, wicked desires from your heart. And you start living the way you're supposed to live. And then at the end of the day, you'll sleep better. And then when that day comes, when, you're, when your flesh gets thrown in that dirt pit, six feet deep, your soul will, will come out and you'll go rest in heaven. And heaven is... Nobody really knows what heaven is. You can read in the Bible somewhat what it's going to be like, but I can tell you what, regardless of how beautiful it is and what we're going to be able to do and how we're going to live in heaven pain-free, it's, it's got to be a lot better than being tortured and burnt in hell. You know, they talk about what hell is in the Bible. And you can watch videos on YouTube. People go to hell. People go to heaven when they die and they come back. I, I don't put too much thought in that. They, they, they could be telling the truth. They, that, that experience could have happened to them so they could spread the gospel and win souls for the Lord. I don't know. But like I said, you know you're going to die, right? We're all going to die. So why wouldn't you believe in the only true way to get off of earth and into the kingdom? I mean, think about that. You're going to die. If if there's heaven and hell, why would you chance wanting to go to hell? I mean, I'm not saying there's not a heaven and hell, but just think about that. You know you're going to die. There's heaven and hell. Why would you 
why would you live your life here on earth where you just don't care? And you're like, oh, I'm going to go to hell. I hear people all that, oh, I'm going to hell. All these entertainers talking about hell is a good place. Oh, I'm going to hell. I don't understand that. Study your Bible. Repent from your sins. Make Christ Jesus Lord of your life. Love yourself. Love, well, love God. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Help people. Go above and beyond to be the light of the light of the earth. Let Christ Jesus' love shine through you. Make a difference in people's lives. Don't get caught up in the foolishness, getting angry at people. Wind up in a penitentiary because you don't committed a crime. Think about that. I love everybody. I want everybody to get into the kingdom of heaven. Repent from your sins before it's too late. Tomorrow is never promised. Like a thief in the night, he will return. So let's get these packs open. 20 cards per pack. I think what I might do is open them all up at one time. And then just, just sort through them. Because uh, I don't feel like having to stop and open I will keep the packs separate once I get them out, but I really like this design. Again, Tops Heritage is just another way for Tops to get your money. They get mine too. I ain't, I ain't judging, but I got back in the hobby last year, and I, I mean, every time you turn around, they're putting out a new release. So whatever floats your boat. Ah, let's see if we can uh, get through this. Might not have good lighting, but, you know, I'm filming from a phone, as usual. In action, Bryce Harper. Mike Brosaw. I like that design. Don't ask me what year this is. Rays World Series. Is that uh, Kyle Lewis? I, I don't even know. Rizzo. Julio. This one, uh, I don't know. This one feels kind of different on the back. I, I don't know. I had to look into it later. I've heard some people say there's some differences. I don't know. Charlie Morton. Boyhood photos. Austin Riley. World Series champs. Casey Myers rookie card in action. I'll put that to the sun. Donovan Solano. Fernando Tatis. That's a decent little card. Put him to the side. Chris Bassett. Steven Souza Jr. Max Scherzer. Tommy Edmond. Austin Slater. Rick Porciallo. Brett Anderson, Eric Thames, Tims, however you want to say it, Justin Verlander. So, again, I don't know if there's short prints in there. I'll go back and look at them later on. The real question is, how am I going to get these home without getting bent because they're going in my suitcase? That's going to be fun. Watch me pull like a $1,000 card. I ain't got nowhere to transport it home. Be wrapping it up in all my clothes, I guess, and putting it in my suitcase. We'll see. Renato Nunez. Nico Hornier. He was a decent rookie last year. I'll put that over here. You know, I'm not I'm not worried about that. Sterling Martel. Wilson Contreras. Anthony Rizzo. There's a decent card. Kyle Lewis, second year. I got a bunch of his rookie cards. Hopefully, they'll be worth a couple hundred bucks in a couple of years. Put that over there. Garrett Cole, Anthony Santander, Evan White rookie card in action. Put that over there. New Age Performers, Jeff McNeil. Yep. Jesse Winker. We'll look at him. The old Jesse Winker. He just got that weird look on his face. I don't know. 
Pete Fairbanks, Joe Adele, and Nick Marjorie, American League. Aren't those rookies this year? Or was they rookies? Yeah, rookies. Yeah, that's a decent little card. Nick Castellano, Gregory Soto, Adam Hazley, Hasley, Jackie Bradley Jr., John Lester, and Jacob Junis. I got some Thurman Munsons from this particular Topps year. They're all been out of shape, but I really I like this design more than I do last year's and the previous years too. I think I'm gonna buy me like a box of uh, 87 Topps just so I can open up. That was I just love that particular design. I think we all do. Ryan Yarbo, Yarbo. Rookie stars are Brady Singer and Nick Nick Heath. Freddie Freeman. Jalen. Getting hard to get them off the top. Jalen Beeks. Garrett Hanson. Justin Verlander in action. Shane Bieber, Dallas Kuchel, and Chris Bassett. Mike Yaskrimski. I got his autograph last year. The card was selling for like $70 at the time, so who knows? i hold on to it. Uh, that guy right there, the great one, Roberto Clemente. I guess that's like an insert subset. Jackie Bradley Jr., Patrick Corbin. Home run leaders, Bolt, Ramirez, Trout, and Abreu. Joe Adele, rookie in action. Nelson Cruz, Cody Bellinger, World Series car, Charlie Blackman, Rio Ruiz, and Wilson Contreras. Got one more pack left. Trying to get some of them good rookies. Pitching leaders, Bieber, Cole, and Marco Gonzalez. Shoei Otani. I'm going to put him to the side. Kevin Hilaire, Hanser, Hanser Alberto, Miguel Rojas in action, Jeff whatever, that guy right there, Josh Bell in action, Razio Iglesias, international, oh, we got a relic, oh, not bad, Keston Herr with a little napkin patch right there, I mean, I'll take it, like I said, you're not guaranteed anything, and is it a game worn patch? Who knows? Who knows? But at least it's a uh, someone with some notoriety, you know. It ain't Bob Boone would have, you know, got something a little napkin patch. But I just picked up some uh, thick top loader, so if I get this one home in peace, I put that in there. So hey, like I said, you're not guaranteed anything, so I take it. I will take it. Trent Grisham, second year. I got a couple of his rookie cards. Got a, uh, what they call that? I got it out of a Topps Chrome, I think. It's a sepia, a sepia, sepia. It's like pink chrome. Looks pretty decent. Rays postseason. Evan Langoria. Cody Bellinger. Josh Donaldson. Old Jesse Winker again. Jesse. Pete Fairbanks. Joe Adele, Nick Magical, Magical rookie card. This guy again, and that guy again. Geo. We got a Geo on LSU this year. Geo, or he's been there, Geo DiGiacomo. My LSU Tigers took the series over Ole Miss today. They won last night, and they won tonight. It was uh, two to 2-1 going into the uh, top of the eighth. They loaded the bases up. My boy Dugas smacked a a dinger over the left field wall in a grand slam. So there you have it. Uh, four packs of value packs of tops heritage. And again, I, I, I may buy some more of this if I find it at local, I'm not really after baseball cards, but that's all I can find. Uh, I've been looking at, you know, blaster boxes of, uh, Panini contenders, uh, you know, 50 bucks, and I, it's like $30 plus shipping. 
So you're going to be looking at 30 to $40 over retail price. And prices are going like I was, you was able to get blasters for 44 Prices just keep going up and going up and going up. And, uh, like I said, I, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on them prisms and optics and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to pay it or not. And, you know, I seen some, uh, I got my, I, I, my eye on a uh, mega box. If you want to call it a NFL playbook, I'm watching them go. Like, the, you can get them at the store if you can find them, which I don't, I don't think they put them out in the stores anymore for like 40, 44 plus tax. And I'm seeing them on stock X and all the other sites are like 58. And I'm just watching, 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 watching. I'm trying to find some more, uh, baseball in uh, Panini Prism Collegiate, so I can finish that set. Uh, looking for, I, I wouldn't mind getting, I might just buy a hobby box if I can get a good price on it. And uh, just looking for something, you know. Contender, what stuff that I'm willing to, to throw a couple of dollars at would be like Contenders, Playbook. I seen that what's this new stuff come out in retail, Select, but I mean, you ain't going to get your hands on it and they're going to go skyrocket to $300 a box. And, I don't know. I just, I just can't do it. So, you know, I don't know how, how long in between my next video is going to be. I might, uh, I might do another boom box here and there, uh, or subscription box. There's not that many football subscription boxes. The only one I've seen is the boom box. I guess I need to do my research and find one that's got some notoriety with it, some credibility. But, uh, other than that, there's some tops heritage 2021. Hope everybody's able to find cards out there. Um, hey, you can't even find supplies. It's hard to find top loaders and penny sleeves these days. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? But hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm fixing to go to bed. I got a flight to catch tomorrow. Get back down to, to, to New Orleans and wash all this St. Louis funk off of me. And, uh, try to enjoy the rest of my weekend before they ship me out again. I think I'm going to Chicago next. So, that's the only thing about my job now is, you know, I went from just being local and now I'm just traveling all over the United States just uh, doing what I do, supervising people, shaking hands and kissing babies, as I like to call it, and then writing a bunch of reports when I get done shaking hands and kissing babies. I mean, I'm 40 years old. I don't have a college education, and uh, I got a job that requires, you know, a business degree. <clears throat> so thank the Lord every day for that. And uh, again, it, it puts me in other areas where I may be able to find some product here and there. I want some football. I take basketball if I find it. But, but other than that, I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you have yourselves a good weekend. As always, I love you. Study your Bible. Repent from your sins. Make Christ Jesus your Lord and Savior and beat death. Thank you for watching. Go Tigers.